This kid's giving us the cold shoulder. I think I should tell these people in the end. Well, never mind. They're all frozen. This is no good. How long have they been frozen? How long have they been... Hey, this guy isn't cold. Wait, 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 wait. You, sir, are charging us for an inn you don't even own. And you'll give most of it to an inn. Rude! <clears throat> Pardon me, my voice tone goes extremely high when I'm frustrated. Poor deep-voiced guy like me. You can see why I'm upset. So, is anybody else not frozen in this town? That is a good question. And why are they frozen? Did somebody leave, leave the furnace off again? Also, inside the well? Is the water frozen? Or is there no water at all? Hardly any water at all. Oh, I tried up. Hmm. Welcome to Canada, as Izzy would say. Frozen people. Frozen doggies. Her hood! That would keep me warm. But it's not really that good. Never remember the 32 gold. That is a good question. How is the fire still going in the fireplace? That's why I stream these things. So people can point out the uh, strange contendent Jin didn't see. Also frozen small bell, yes. Hey, there's an old man. He's not frozen. Uh... Oh, him. Stay away from the cave. Alright. And that in Adventurer's Code is go to this cave for your next plot point. Oh, he's still frozen. Is the priest? Yep, the nun is even frozen. So you can't always save your game. That is a bad thing. have to find a way to free these people. Yeah, that or they just need to have Summer come along. That was terrible for us. And we're gonna unsneak for a while, see if we meet a new monster along the way. Over here. Where's ice? We should stop sliding around and talk with this uh, majestic woman. Find the young man, Glory. Well, tell us about this uh, cold woman if you will. And now it's a puzzle to get on out of here.
because you can't uh, control yourself while you're sliding. I might just actually have to... No, do it this way. There we go. Puzzle! Yep, yeah, yeah, no. I've been caught once again. Caught sliding around. Dink, however, has to deal with this. A very cold place, if you will. The ice cave. I should bring up a map. I did not think I'd go this far tonight, but we will. Because it is cold and scary. And of course, we're going to be fighting things along the way. So, prepare your knockers. Prepare, prepare your warm cereal. It's time to slide. Oh, hello. It is sealed tight. I look like I'm gonna have to go back to town and see if someone knows how to open it. But there's only one clue we have. That crazy old man. Crazy old man. Living all by himself. Oh, wait! It's this guy again! This guy who stole the Sword of Thunder from us. Well, technically he won it in a contest, but uh... Hey! Um... Rude! Who was that guy anyway? I'm looking for a man called Gorin. Well, Fiddlefudge. Oh, you're Goran. Oh gosh, you're... You crazy old man. Yeah. Yeah, what is with that uh, crazy woman? Anyway. Stop talking in riddles, old man. So... Assuming that our, uh, that young hero, uh, was just talking with Goran, he probably is on a plot point a step ahead of us again. I wonder what he's gonna try to charm from the, uh, cold woman up here. Let's find out. Um, we hardly know about you. Oh, you're not human. Lovely. That means you're a monster, right? Uh, no. Goron is obviously playing us for a trick. Did you cheat on him, woman? Wow. Really? So, the Ice Queen over here... Was in charge of that curse all along. Well, she's an evil one. The Snow Queen, Yurina. Guardian of Nature. So you punished the entire village he came from. Out of a little spite. Wow. 
Wow. I'm gonna beat this woman. That's probably the first time I have ever said that in a Let's Play. Or maybe even in real life. So here's Elisa. Yes. Let it go, woman. The village we go. And now nobody know, will know who Goran is. And assuming everything has returned to normal, these people will find out they're out of, out of the loop. It's now snow. It's good to see the people all up and running. About 50 years of cryostasis is terrible for trade. Well then. Uh, what? Really? Oh no. Oh no. Sure. Big is now an alcoholic. But seriously, they gave the liquor to the children. It obviously didn't keep your body warm enough to be cryostasis for 50 years now, did it, young lady? Also, this inn is terribly expensive. Hey, Big! It's the star of our show, Big Fatty Plus. You are an alcoholic, but because you accepted the drink for this man. I love the timing that you just came in, Big. But, yes. Our, uh... Uh... What can we call it? Jerk of a, uh... Home Crasher ran off. He was charging 32 gold to stay in the end that wasn't his. Alright, let's talk with more students. We've heard of the Snow Queen. She's a real cold I'm sorry. Hey, items. Just your standard. I hate to tell her that the wall is dry. Hey! This was a weapon store all along. Really? I can't believe this is a weapon store all along. And he... he's telling stories here. Well, we have a... arrangement of weapons... that isn't quite as good as Gun Gandino. Weapons and armor. But still, if you need to upgrade, it's there for you. Hello, old woman. I'm just, I'm just visibly upset right now. Water, water, water. Did any water actually appear? Not that she... Nope. 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 No water. Sorry. Ah, yes. You were that warrior that was a jerk. Really? You look more like a person who took advantage of a certain situation that involved people getting frozen. Jerk. 
<sighs> anyway. Everybody's cold. Yep, soup is cold. That's what 50 years will do. Turn your soup into cold. And that doggy's gotta go. It, she, it's gotta go right now. Just being frozen for a while makes you wanna go. You know what I mean? Oh, we should let uh, talk with that person. Did the doggy go? Well, she's having fun. That's a wolf wolf dog. Just to make sure. Always gotta make sure what dog you have. Very important. And now the old man is, yeah, has a lot of explaining to do that does not involve talking about the snow food. Wow. Nice corn. Jerk. He was an adventurer, but then he uh, became stupid. You've been sleeping for 50 years. Isn't that great? Another clue on finding Zam. Wait, wait, wait. Is that Zam over here? Are you Zam? Aha! It's the legendary Zam. Okay, we were just at several key phrases. This is where uh, the remember spell would come in useful. But of course, this ROM has to give my ability to remember. Oh, he's actually going to tell us. He's not going to require us to actually pay him anything. The password is Cold Blaze. But then you gotta get serious. By myself, I am not. The daughter of a strong man can lift barrels. When you eat ice, your nose gets cold. giving him back the sword if I find it. And as always, remember to save your game. 50 years of property taxes. Oh my. I don't think the mayor would do that, though. Surely the mayor of this town isn't that evil. I could be wrong. It's a good thing Gorin isn't the leader of this town. Because the last thing we need is another uh, 50 years of a uh, snow form. Anyway, into the ice cave for real this time. Here's a map, just in case I don't put the map up. There we go. And our first quest is to open the door with our newly found path. Thankfully, there are no mosquitoes in this. It's too cool for a mosquito. Time to repeat the password. Cold Blaze, says Jay. 
And Big actually says something in this Let's Play for once. Angry Door. So, what is the password? Do you remember the password? I was still by, by myself, I am honest. But this, uh, um, yeah, this hack. I'm gonna assume it's Sentence 1. This has nothing to do with daughters of a strong man lifting barrels. Uh, two? And... two? With a fear heart, don't fight me, breaks free of the ice. And he tells Big to be gone. This freaking hack! <sighs> Strangely enough, the uh, man in the blue hood did not beat us here. Probably because he went to the password. No, actually, the hack is correct. It's the password that he screwed up. Goran! Goran screwed up the passwords. I know 50 years will do that to you, but still. Come on, man. At least he remembered cold blood. Ah, all right. I do have the. I actually scrolled down on my uh, written walkthrough, and I do have the uh, correct passwords. I wasn't that far off. With a pure heart, a blade of hidden powers. I'm not sure what that has to do with a uh, daughter of a strong man lifting barrels. And break free of the ice. Something about ice being on the nose. See, that sentence makes sense. Thank you, door. And now we get to what every ice cave has. An ice cave has. Slidey puzzle. Yes, I'm rolling my S, too. I will need just a moment to figure this one out. So let's go forward. And jingle bells all the way. Jingle, jingle all the way, if you will. Oop. I'm sliding. Okay, that was an easy one. There are a few treasures, if you haven't noticed. Hopefully we'll go try and close, because you never know what you can do with a rusty sword. Because we all know rusty swords turn into legendary swords. Is it true? Don't tell me otherwise. Try telling me otherwise, I'll beat you. Just kidding. We'll go into the east first. And not to that. To this. 1900 gold. Also, I forgot to bank my gold, so it would be terrible if I suddenly lost my 15,000 plus gold right now. So, something like this. Puppet men. And of course, the cure. Try to conserve magic for right now, and let's beat them up. With a spin kick.
Oh, so much for uh, conserving our magic points. Thanks, Puppet Man. They just don't want me to use magic in this dungeon, do they? Now, just because I said don't use magic doesn't mean you can't use your skills either. I guess I'm going to have to change my tactics again. Hopefully they don't. Still should be on the metal slime if you need to grind. But just checking a few things. We'll go in here and get fantastic treasure chest. Unless a frost cloud says no. I guess cross claws, of course, you should use fire. But they know, uh, yeah. Frozen ice attack, not pleasant. I'm almost regretting not bringing Barbara in here. Hey, look, small metal. And now to heal myself manually, because Restore uses all the spells of your current party members. Because I don't know whether this is actually a bug or intended that I can use. The spells of the members in the wagon. Either way, back up the stairs and to the next staircase. Which is, of course, up north. Wait, did that hurt me, Ice? No, that's cracking ice. I think I should be concerned. I said with a question mark. And just in case you weren't sick of ice, have some wise. That seems almost too easy. North, west, east, south. That is the way. Oh, I get it. I have to he hit each of these uh, switches in a way that does not have me end up falling through the ice. Did it say east or south next? Fudge. See what I mean? Fudge. Alright, let's pay attention this time. North, west, east, south.
There we go. See, I'm not as stupid as I look sometimes. Yep, can't cross your path again. You step on the ice again, you fall. Yeah, it's very nice of the ice to refreeze itself. Nope, nope, you are not getting that sword this time, buddy. That is my sword. I don't believe this. Well, thank you very much. How kind of you. His name is Terry. He's traveling the world looking for swords. He's looking for the legendary sword. Yeah. Oh, Muriel seems to know this guy. Hmm. Muriel, we're going to have to have a chat with him. Right now. We're taking the rusted sword. Which I'm sure can be restored somehow. He does ask how rusted swords go. But for right now... Our identify spell, which Terry did not have. Hmm, yes. And that's pretty much where I stay here. Once again, I am slightly insulted. I don't know why I exited that way. But maybe Goran can tell us something. We're gonna have to find a blacksmith, aren't we? It might have to be in the uh, dream world, or the real world, or both. And it might involve a quest about probably getting a certain item. Go on. Ah, uh, he doesn't know anything about the sword. Doesn't look like anybody else would know how to fix an offhand that I can think of. Hey, it was Zam, that's right. We should talk to Zam. Oh, thank you, Boris. <laughs> He wasn't in this time. Yes, he was. Hey, Zam. Yep. Go directly south from the ruins of the shrine at Dolma. There's a town named Longadesio. Innocent people hide and hooligans roam. But there's a black there. And a pass to go in there. Well, what have we learned from this expedition? Not very much, really. So in the next video, and the next uh, play session as well, we'll go to Long Dezo Pass. Oh, Long Dezo. Using the Long Dezo Pass. Assuming that's how you pronounce that town. And maybe we'll learn something about a blacksmith. 